All right, ladies and gentlemen, very interesting question. What is or which is the best position of the Lagna law? Have you seen these videos in YouTube where they say, Lagnesh is very good in this house. Lagnesh is very good in that house. Lagnesh is very good in this sign. Lagnesh is very good in, uh, con in this particular conjunction with that particular planet. Lagnesh with the 10th Lord, Lagnesh 5th Lord, Lagnesh 9th Lord conjunctions are good. Lagnesh Jupiter conjunction is good. So you will see this all over in social media. People are debating on which is or which are the best placements for the Lagna Lord in a horoscope. Right? But the fortunate answer is fortunate or unfortunate that's something which you decide the answer is there is no best placement for uh, the lagnesh in a horoscope now there is a best placement for that for a particular lagnesh for a particular horoscope but there is no generic answer where you say oh lagnesh in this house is always good lagnesh in that sign is always good right because uh, it depends on the flow of the chart, right? So, imagine the horoscope has a flow in a particular direction. So, for example, imagine most of the planets are indicating that a person will be having a profession where he will have a business rather than a job. So, then what happens? If the Lagnesh is not supporting that, then what happens is, External events will force this person you know, to go on one side and he himself will be wanting to do something else, right? So, therefore, sometimes if you see Lagnesh is in the seventh house, for example, then you will always see or other, you will see that if they go to an astrologer, they will tell them, oh, either you should marry or you should not marry. It's a very contradictory answer because they will say, oh, Lagna Lord in the 7th, if marriage breaks, everything will break. Lagna Lord in 7th, if marriage is good, everything is good, right? But before seeing uh, if marriage is uh, going to break him or make him, have you seen if this 7th house represents marriage or does it represent partnerships or business? Have you seen that? Well, maybe not, right? So, therefore, what is the best placement for a Lagna Lord? That depends on the overall horoscope. That depends on the comprehensive analysis that you do. Because when you do a comprehensive analysis, you understand what is good for this person and what is not good for this person. And when I say good and bad, I don't mean uh, from a generic or you know, moral perspective. Of course, that, that is always there from the scriptural perspective. But good specifically for that person, for that horoscope. So, depending on that, you have to say if Lagnesh in this house is good or is it not good. Now, rather than saying good or bad, what you should say is, is the Lagnesh supporting the flow of the horoscope or is it neutral or is it opposing? That is where astrology boils down to at the end of the day. Most of the times people think that astrology boils down to two things. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. You will see all over YouTube. Like I get 100 comments every day. Oh, I have this planet here. Is it good? Is it bad? Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, right? It's like a dance. You say, oh, your three planets are good. Oh, your four planets are bad. So what does it mean? Uh, four bad planets, three nice planets. What about the other planets? Do they not exist? Right. So rather than saying good or bad, you should ask, is a particular planet supporting the flow of the chart or is it neutral or is it opposing? Not only for Lagnesh, the same question should be asked for every other planet because you have to understand this, that it very rarely happens that one planet is so powerful that it can drag the entire flow of the horoscope to another direction. It very rarely happens. 
for most of the people, common people especially, it doesn't happen, right? So, which means that most of the times, uh, the energies are moving in contradictory directions. And then, as astrologers, it becomes very important for us to give the right guidance in a way that this person understands where he or she should move finally. Okay. So, for example, if a person has a very career-obsessed horoscope, now how do you know if a person has a very career-obsessed horoscope? So, first of all, you have to see, apart from the Lagnesh, because we are trying to see the Lagnesh now, right? So, of course, first we have to see if there are any Digbali planets in the 10th house, right? Because planets which are in Digbal, they pull you towards that direction. So we know Jupiter Mercury gets Digbala in the first house. <laughs> then we have uh, Moon and Venus which gets Digbali in the fourth and then Saturn gets Digbali in the seventh. And who gets Digbali? Mars and Sun. Sun and Mars, right? They get Digbali in the tenth house. So if a person has Sun or Mars in the tenth house, in the Bhava chart, not Lagna chart, in the Bhava chart because Bhava chart tells the house where a planet is. Do not make that mistake, right? So, if a planet, if a uh, horoscope, if a person has either Sun or Mars in the 10th house, then during the Dasha of that planet, either Sun or Mars, or during the Dasha of the 10th Lord, the person can have mighty career ambitions. Huge, humongous, right? Because 10th house is the house of the king. So the person will want to be a king. Now, whether he will be or not, that's secondary, right? So you see the 10th house, what's going on? Then you see where is the 10th lord. If the 10th lord is in a kendra, then also there is very severe career obsession. It's possible. This is the next layer, right? So, why, 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 why if the 10th lord is in kendra, it gives career obsession? Why? Because Imagine the 10th Lord is in the 10th house, right? What happens? It's very powerful. Or if the 10th Lord is uh, in the 7th house, then what happens? From the 7th, it is aspecting the 1st house. Or if the 10th Lord is in the 4th, it still aspects the 10th house, right? So if a, if a house Lord is associated with that house, which means if the 10th Lord is in 10th or 4th, because then he aspects the 10th. Or the Lagna. So that means the 10th Lord is in Lagna or the 7th. From the 7th he aspects. Then the planet becomes very powerful because uh, the planet has a very strong say over us. right? So now imagine you have Sun, Mars uh, in the 10th. One of them or maybe both of them. right? And you have the Lord of the 10th sitting in the Lagna. Right? Then that essentially means this is a very, very, very career-obsessed horoscope. Because whenever a planet is in Lagna, you want those things to come to you, right? We are not yet discussing about the Lagnesh, not yet, all right? So, in this situation, if the 10th Lord is in Lagna, or, you know, the 4th, 7th, or 10th itself, and there are Sun, Mars, planets, you know, Agni, Tattva planets in the 10th house, now you have to see where is the Lagnesh. What is the Lagnesh doing? Is the Lagnesh also in an Artha house? Then that's a very good placement. Because now the person can have pinpointed focus in the career, in the profession. But now imagine uh, this Lagnesh is not in an Artha house, which is 2nd, 6th or 10th. Instead, it's in a Kama house. Right, like the seventh house or the third house or the eleventh. Now, eleventh house is good for gains and finances. But in general, the Kama houses take a person more towards enjoyment. So then this can be a terrible position because this means the person has desires, ambitions, but he is quickly thrown off his goals immediately. The moment there is a temptation, there is a desire. Illegitimate desire, sinful desire, right? So, then you need to tell the person that, my dear sir, you are full of talent. 
but the problem is you cannot say no to temptations you fall prey to temptations and therefore you should be doing a profession where there is very less possibility for you to fall down for you to fall prey to temptations right otherwise what happens you tell this person oh you have big career you have this you have that you know so many things you tell them uh, but then at the end of the day um, after a few years this person calls you and says oh you said you know i have a great career but you know now i am caught in this um, scam or some you know fancy scandal with the opposite sex or with money and then i'm ruined totally right and then you'll be like but what's the problem you know the chart is so nice 10th floor is in lagna then lagnesh is in the third maybe or seventh and everything's so great right but that's the problem you forgot to see that this person has talent but talent only works when there's hard work and discipline otherwise talent is completely useless in fact it frustrates you more because you have no way to execute your talent right so then it's useless completely useless even worse than that right so therefore it's very important that you judge the placement of the lagnesh because the lagna lord's placement shows the focus where is the focus of the person so imagine a person has a lot of talents, good managerial administrative capacities, but the person himself is not focused. He's you know, running after uh, alluring uh, objects of this material world. So then what happens? There is no net result. Right? Why do they say the Lagnesh is very important? Because the Lagnesh shows where you put your energy. So if you do not put energy, there is no consistency. There are no results. Right, so therefore, before you jump into conclusions that oh, Lagnesh in this house is great, Lagnesh in that house is great, please do a comprehensive analysis, analyze the overall chart, and then come to a conclusion in regards to which placement is good or bad, or rather, which placement is supportive, neutral, or opposing the flow of the chart. Okay, otherwise, we will make blunders while giving predictions and we will regret them right because these are such simple things which everybody understands but we fail to use them at the appropriate time place and circumstance and once you see the overall chart and you see the lagnesh and you try to come to a harmony because it will never 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 ever happen that everything is falling in place right it just doesn't happen always you will see the lagnesh is having some problem he has a problem with the sun or the moon or venus mercury whatever or lagnesh himself has a problem with himself right so you will never find a horoscope where everything is perfect the lagnesh is also saying in the same tone as the other planets right so then you have to use your astrology skills and your discretionary power to understand what exactly is going on going in going on in the horoscope only then you can understand how is the person likely to behave in the future so for example if a horoscope is very strong for career but the lagnesh is not then what happens is even if there's a career opportunity the person cannot take it so there's no growth in the profession right so that's how you analyze and understand if the lagnesh is good or not so good for you right <laughs> thank you very much for your patience if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video please click the thumbs up and share it with your family members or colleagues or friends <laughs> If you want a consultation from me, please go down to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you irrespective of how your luggage is. Thank you very much.